Quincy University in a doubleheader in softball today. First game, not so good as the Hawks lose 4-2. The second game, though, the story in this one, as freshman Wendy Macias delivers a perfect game. The Lady Hawks win that game by the final count of 5-0. Also, HLG splitting today with Mo Baptist, winning the second game behind a trio of RBIs. 4-2 was your final on that one from Rachel Hughes. We've got high school baseball for you. The Battle of Palmyra and Monroe City. Always fun whenever these two teams match up. Luke Powell on the hill today, and he was absolutely dealing. 11 strikeouts on the day, sporting a 5-1 to lead already in the top of the seventh. Palmyra goes back to work offensively. Josh Holtz right here with an RBI rip, and it will be Caleb Kaiser. He's going to knock this ball nearly out of the park. It is a bouncing ground rule double, scores two more. Palmyra just piling on at this point in support of Luke Powell, who also delivered an RBI rip here as well to the cause as Palmyra downs Monroe City by the final count in this game of 10 to 1. Other scores on the baseball docket today. We've got Scotland County losing for the first time this season to uh, similarly unbeaten Schuyler County 10 to 6 on the road. Also North Shelby knocked off by one by Highland. It was Canton winning over La Plata 4 to 2. Hannibal with a great pitching effort from Jacob White to beat Boonville and Centralia stays red hot beating Mexico 2 to 1. In Illinois tonight, Macomb a big win over Monmouth Roseville. Quincy Notre Dame wins at home over Rushville Industry. Triopia by one over West Central and a bit of an upset Adam Hegeman with the game winning RBI there. Unity in a split with Pace and Seymour 13 to 10 in the first game. In the second game, Pace and Seymour gets a big game from Johnny Mannion to win that one. 11 to 10 was your final there. More for you now. We take you to more Illinois fun. Griggsville Perry visiting Liberty. A pitcher's duel today of the highest order between this guy, Lane Hansel, and Dryden Craven. Hansel in the first inning getting out of a jam with a strikeout right here. Craven doing likewise to the aforementioned Mr. Hansel, painting the corner for the strikeout. But it was Hansel who got the better of this deal today. Seven strikeouts on the day. Did not give up a single run. Scattered four hits. He was also well supported in this game, at least a couple of different times, by Tyler Orman. The big RBI right here turns out to be the game winner this in the fourth inning as Liberty goes on to win today by the final count of three to nothing. We've got softball scores for you tonight as well. Plenty of them. West Prairie filled by West Central. Eight to three is your final there. Other scores of note. Griggsville Perry beats Western 12 to one on the day. Q&D stays undefeated with a win over Central Southeastern. West Hancock wins six to nothing over Unity. Payson Seymour with four RBI from Cheyenne Bowman in a win over Liberty. Beardstown filled by Porta. And Triopia gets a great pitching effort from Elizabeth Wearies in beating West Central. Soccer, Quincy Notre Dame still unbeaten and rolling today. Keokuk loses by one to Mount Pleasant. Hard luck lost there. Holy Trinity boys, big time winners over Columbus. Junction today, three to one. Keokuk boys winners as well as Zach Church scores yet another goal in golf today. Hannibal jumps all over Highland. Jacob McLaren, Charlie Bauman, the co-medalist with 38s today. The Keokuk girls win their triangular today. Katie Edwardson out of Keokuk finishing second individually. And scores of note.